Greetings, everyone. It's time for us to finally enter this large dome that the Harpies call the Big Egg, also known as Sphere. And the very first thing we have once we enter is this doorway, which has a teleporter that we can't quite get to. We'll have to remember EN72, but that'll be for much later. For now, we're just going to head on over to the right. And we've got a bunch of these things in the background known as megaliths. Uh, if you've done random encounters around Sphere, you're very aware of what these all can do. But for those of you who aren't aware, here's a demonstration. You catch that? They shoot anything that gets too close to them. Like that bird. Speaking of that bird, head on over to the left. Oh, wow, we got two roast birds. That's... Not supposed to happen. Huh. Anyway, you head back over to the left and you get a roast bird, but it's supposed to only be one of them, so that's very weird. Also, it's supposed to be closer to you. I don't know what just happened there. Oh, well. We're heading on in through the sphere, though, past this clearly peaceful recreation area. Now, for those who aren't aware, even though it shows a musical note when you're near the megaliths, Playing notes does nothing. However, you can uh, distract the megaliths. As a note, if you go into that that uh, slightly darkened box that's rotating, it's going to target you. But you can also throw other objects such as a bomb or your uh, basically any projectile and it will shoot that as a distraction. So keep that in mind, because we're going to need to do that. In addition, that line I just went past, as you could kind of tell, is a, it's a wire trap, or wire trap, a laser trap. Also, uh, I kind of just did it, but you can sort of see that box. You can't go under that megalith. You have to go over it. Now here, looks like we've got two options, right? Well, no, we only have one. Because this way, unfortunately, brings us over to those, which also close that door. So be careful when you're heading over to here. Jump up here, and it's just got the tiniest little box. Just the tiniest box. So then you can just fly over this one, and we're good. Trip this. Deal with these guys. In your favorite manner. Also, as you can kind of tell, it also tripped the uh, explosive ones in the other area, if you heard the beeping. Really? Come on. There we go. But that's not going to work. All right. So there is a reason I'm doing this, tr believe me. It's for something minor, but there is a purpose to my madness. Now that I've got all this stamina back, we're just going to fly all the way over these. Come to here, and you get yourself some Nutra Food, which is actually some decent healing. These, in the next screen I'll show, these uh, Megaliths do a lot of damage. Case in point, this is going to be stupid. I'm going to try something. So, and the moment I stood up, it shot me and dealt 20 damage to me. So yeah, megaliths are annoying. And now we have to deal with the fact that some of these uh, wire traps are going to cause lasers to start shooting. So I honestly recommend flying over. So you actually, for this one, it's not bad because you're going to be below and it actually lets you use the lasers to your advantage. And then you can just hop on like that so that they stop shooting and you don't have to worry. Now here, we can either go to the left, or we can come up here. I'm going to come up here first. Trip this, deal with these guys. Because, come on, you knew it was going to spawn things. But now we can head over to here, where I was before. Which, if you're good, you can also come up the top route for this. But we get ourselves an Astro Lunch, which is a another good healing item. Now we can't go over to the right, so we do kind of have to go down here. 
Now just, just roll for that one. For the first one, I showed the big one back there. I should just dashed, but eh, I didn't. Now, as a note, I said Megalith will shoot projectiles. They'll shoot some enemies as well, but they will not shoot those turrets, unfortunately. Also, that pot, you can't get from the left. Well, you can, but it's really difficult. Instead, let me show you an easier way to deal with that. Uh, first, you don't want to fall. You want to come up here. You don't want to do this. All right. I've messed this up. Let's restart, because I didn't want to put that as close to there as I did. What I want to do is this, because now, as you see, I'm not in line with these. So we just head on over here, and we get ourselves some 30 Rin. That glowing pot, however, we can't get yet. There is still one more upgrade for us to obtain before we can get that. Now here, I'm going to try doing something that may seem a little foolish. All right, that's good. All right, there we go. So I've set these spears up specifically so that I can do that. Fly over here because you can't see it, but there is a glowing pot over to the right. Uh, can I get... There we go. You can see the pot now. If I stand up, I'm going to get shot. However, if you stand right here, just shoot your crossbow, uh, and just keep on shooting, what was over there, ow, was a moonstone. So we get a moonstone. And also, going through that trips a mole mine. But this mole mine can be used to our purposes because those megaliths will shoot mole mines and also shoot all the shrapnel that comes out of the mole mine. So, the new goal is to use the mole mines to our advantage. In addition, ah, uh, there we go, there we go. I was going to say, ah, uh, it didn't work, but nope, nope, it worked for me. You can use the mole mines on those turrets. It, basically, mole mines are a completely separate faction. Now, fall down here. That is supposed to be a pot, but one of the mole mines exploded on it, so we were good. But we get Miranda, which is a basically honeybrew-esque uh, item. It helps, it restores energy over time. But let it get that, shoot the shrapnel as you roll on under it. Now, we could get that right now, but we're going to get it, we're not going to get it with uh, bomb jumps. You could just throw a spear in there and then go ahead and bomb jump up to the spear to get it, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to show the proper way to get that one. Come on. Also, you want to deal with these guys. They are going to cause problems with that switch otherwise. There we go. Got you down. Now give me spread shot and I'll take a lucky spread shot shot. Now, Megalith. Looks like you can't get past. Hit the switch and they flip up and down. Also, uh, be careful with here because, yeah, that wants to shoot you. So what you just do Jump up, shoot, and it flips them. And now we've got another one down here that we could use to flip them again, but we don't really need it. First, I'm coming over here to get ourselves some more Rin. Again, if you didn't buy all the stuff in uh, ter Terellium, you want this Rin. Now, right here is a little weird. What I, you can do what I'm about to do with either slingshot. I'm just going to show what happens with the normal one to show that you can do this. You want to line Gale's foot up with that line that's directly below me right now. Then press and hold up, and then double tap the shoot button. And then it hits the switch over there and flips them over. And you can use this to come over here and get this, which has a bunny figure. There are nine, nine of those, seven. It'll be on the screen of how many there are, but there are a new collectible that we want to start getting for this area specifically. But now we can just head on over here, trip this, realize that that was a mole mine and probably not the best thing to have tripped. 
Okay. You know what? Fine. Just spread shot this. Okay, maybe a little bit lower. There we go. Now then, back over here. Double tap and just dash over here. Oh, I take it back. My strategy works with the original one, doesn't work with the other. To be fair, you can use the triple one to hit the one below me, but I just find the other one set up to be nicer. And less... <laughs> less pray that it works. But hey, we recognize that flower, don't we? But not important. Welcome to Pristine City. Now, I kind of didn't show it, but, uh, that door's locked. But this is open. And there's a golem. How riveting. It's been a little over five centuries since the last human. I've kept the sheets cleaned and the pillows properly plump. Will you be resting? Yes, we will take a free rest. Have a good nap. Because this is another a fluffy pillow connoisseur. And if you need to cook anything, there's a campfire, which I believe we're... Yeah, we don't have anything... Oh, actually, here we go. We can cook the neutral food. So turn it from 24. I don't actually remember how much it changes to healing. Nutra meal, which is a lot more. Yeah, so, you know, it's kind of worth cooking that. I hope your stay was restful. It was. It was, Golem. But now, we need to head on over here and... Look out! Behind you! Hey! Nice shot! If you remember from all the way back in a tie when we were there the first time... That guy was in the inn. I believe he's the guy who actually gives who gives you an item if you have if you show him that you're currently using your uh, quick select wheel decently. Don't worry, Gale. He's a friend. This is Gustav. He's another adventurer we recruited to help in our cause. Similar to how we had you help us. Hey, I had some golems! And this is how I would look if my avatar still had its body. We've sent several of these avatar robots to retrieve all the spherless shards. And we recruited local help wherever an avatar robot failed the mission. Like I did. Is everyone here? Yes, you two are the last to arrive. Really? I'm later than Kobe? Surprisingly, yes. Shoot. Guess I lost that bet. Well, let's not waste any more time. We will assemble the Spherelis at once. Yes, sir. It is complete. What is it? It looks like some kind of musical device. The all-important key to interface with the technology of the ancients is a musical instrument. Yes, I'm sure our ancestors had a, w had a wise and important reason for creating it this way. Right. Well, Gale, would you do the honors? Sure we will. We obtained the Spherless. The ancients created this device to interface with their technology. Equip the sphere list from the menu, then press circle while pushing in different directions to issue ancient commands via sound waves. It is used similar, similarly to the flute. The effects it can achieve are unknown, so experimentation is in order. Let's look around. The way to the phoenix must be hidden somewhere here. Yep, well first, as they said, this works similar to the flute, so it's just replaced... No, I don't want to eat that. It just replaces the flute. However, they have a slightly different 
tinge to the notes now. Bart has informed us of your many deeds. You do sound like the most suited to do the final leg of the mission. I'd have liked to seen you in action, but piloting this avatar was my foremost priority. You'll note that my avatar robot is intact, while Bart's is not. The Stellanites told me they had recruited another human to help them. I wondered who it was. I do believe we've met once before. Yep, as I mentioned, we met him back in the tie. Shall we share some stories? How did you join? There was a trespasser on my property in the middle of the night, and I was a little too hasty with my gun. What I had destroyed was a Stellanite golem. Imagine my surprise when the remains started talking. It, had told, it told me that its mission was critical, and I had inadvertently doomed the world. Uh, I guess I felt a little responsible. Alright, what was your mission? Uh, I was tasked with retrieving the Spheerless Shard from the Rotus region. Lots of sand over there. Thankfully, it was more of a diplomatic mission. In my old age, I can't blast my way through everything the same as I used to. Will you come with us? Unfortunately, this is as far as I go. I felt my hip crap crack after landing from a jump in the Megalith fields. And from what the Stellanites tell me, I would only slow you down. <laughs> oh well. We don't get a partner, but hey, we got to meet someone again that we weren't expecting. Bart sp spoke highly of you, so I'm cautiously optimistic. Our fellow Stellanite-driven bots are also investigating the city to find the whereabouts of the Phoenix. We will assist in any way we can. You may recognize us by our bright orange colors. Uh, oh, hey, did I miss anything? I went to get a cup of coffee. It'd be pretty convenient to be able to go full robot that I'd never need to sleep. But uh, that would miss the taste of coffee. Hmm... Dilemma. Ah, uh, just a minor dilemma. Also, hey, we can go into this pristine city station now. Or we can immediately leave it because now everybody has moved around. And actually, we didn't need to worry about that. What I think I actually want is over here. Ooh, also, Golem. Have you come to challenge our way of life? In the absence of human masters, many have continued to perform their same old directives. However, some of us have found a new directive, and I think what we have found is worth preserving. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I was, hey, Songstone! With... This. Basically, this is trying to tell you what the order is. Well, first things first. Let's talk to this guy. How rare. A human. Listen carefully, because I won't repeat myself thrice. I've captured and hidden seven bunnies throughout the city and in the West Megalith fields. Find all seven bunnies and bring them to me, or else I will continue my reign of terror. Wahahaha. <laughs> Did you get all that? No, tell me again. I've captured and hidden seven bunnies. Find them, or else, mwahahaha. <laughs> Did you get all that? No, I didn't. Didn't I say I wouldn't repeat myself thrice? Correct. Oh, also, if you immediately talk to him, correct, one of them is held captive by my evil genius. You're quite good at this. Remember, this doesn't end until all seven bunnies are found. So, again, with this... This is trying to tell you what the Songstone is. So, what I think we have to do is basically play the notes there, but from right, from uh, top to bottom, right to left. So I believe it is plus, dash, open, closed, open, plus, dash, plus. Yep, that is the order. I did remember correctly. And you get yourselves... Our third bunny figure. Come on down. Next up, 
We're going to head over this way. And we're going to show off what we can do now that we have the Spheralis. It commands ancient technology. So play the notes that are there. And you play enough of them. And it doesn't matter if you play the wrong one. They shut down. So you can also just spam this if you want to. To try to get it by random chance. You do have to be a certain distance away for this to actually activate. And the distance away does change for each megalith. But as long as you don't reload the save, those will stay deactivated. Also, we have a podium that bears an empty round slot. And we cannot go any further. So we need to find something to put into those podiums. But instead of worrying about that, we're going to head over and explore more of the pristine city. We can't go up anymore, so we actually have to go into these stations. Head on down. And, hey, we have someone to talk to. It's pretty handy that the vending machines take ring coins. I guess your people saw no reason to change it. Yep, so, if you want some nutri food to turn into nutri meals, you can just pay 20 rin for it. Not necessarily a bad deal. And now we're going to head on over to this. And hey, Golem. Whenever you see these glowy, plus-shaped panels, it means your spheralis can, can affect something. Notice how the high and low notes are glowing. I bet those are the notes you need to play. Yep, so you play the up one, and they go up. Play down, and they go down. Now then, let's interact with this. City elevators are currently offline. Route power to the city elevators. Yes, I would like the elevators to work. Routing. Success! Alright. So now, those green panels we saw up top. Well, let's talk to them again. You've turned on the city elevators. Great job! Now on this world, people call the turquoise stone panels that can be affected by music song stones. So I propose that we call these new ones Jake Stones. After myself. Alright, it's the same thing over. Anyway, those green panels that we saw up top are now active. So we're going to head back up because I want to deal with the upper part of the city first. So, stand on it. It activates once you touch the middle part, and we can head on up. Hiya, toots! Haha, <laughs> didn't expect to see me here, did ya? Oh, right, you don't recognize me in this form. Hold on a second. Hey, it's Kobete! That's right, I'm Kobete! Or rather, I'm Kobe. The image you see is an illusionary projection to disguise our avatar robots. So, if I had not done the Troubadour questline by this point, Cope, they would have actually made mention that Kobe had not yet arrived. So that is a nice little touch. Sorry to have pulled the wool over your eyes. I was on a cultural mission. One that I completed with great success. When it was determined that the music troupe was no longer conductive to the mission, I had to leave them. You understand. What? No, I'm going to go with they really miss you. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. I had that effect on people. It's for the best, but I'll never see them again. Never ever. Don't try to convince me otherwise. Top Rest says you're priority number one, so all the intel I have on this place is at your disposal. Well, let's find you the Phoenix first, I guess. My sleuthing of the robotic locals tells me there are three crystals strewn about the city. Two in the upper levels, and one in the lower. They can be accessed via the Spheralis. Once all three are activated, a rail car located below the city becomes functional. That rail car will take you to Eden. E-D-E-N. That's where you'll find the Phoenix. Alright, well, tell us about your cultural mission. Yes, it's possible that our mission will fail, and the Earth will would be lost. In such an event... My job was to document how you, our distant relatives, lived. What you ate, what made you laugh, what made you worried about day to what you worried about day to day. The things that made you you. 
you can rest assured I wrote some very interesting things. Okay, well, let's talk about the top brass. You know, the boss, Bart. The uh, proper way to address him is His Highness Bartholomew, but he hates that title. He disobeyed his father to spearhead this mission. Good guy, but totally naive. But that's also what I like about him. Better to follow a good-hearted idiot than a smart, cold ruler. Like his brother, for instance, Lord Bill. There's a guy that'll give you the creeps. So, bit of background. When, uh, this, this game, Fantopia Awakening, is actually a remake of a Flash game, Phenotopia. In that game, there's a, there's little bit, little story differences. For example, in that game, it isn't Bart who's assisting you, but it's Bill. Or, I believe they're actually called Billy. And, uh, yeah, th this is just a nice little tidbit that m probably means we actually might see that Bill, uh, in the future. Now then, upper levels. The uh, local robots say a, ter a terrifying relic from the Great War roosts on the upper levels. They've cordoned it off. It's a good thing that it's a good thing that thing is off our critical path. Yep. Well, ooh, let's talk to you. Don't drop that spheroless. It is important to be careful with that spheroless. It's a very important item. It took all our efforts to assemble it. If it breaks, well, you know, let's not even imagine it. Yeah, just for that, I'm going to go off to these top levels that have a terrifying relic just to give that guy a little bit more of a uh, heart attack conniption. Now that we're over here, uh, as you see, we can't throw... We can't throw this into there, but we can throw it into the blue parts. So, use this to climb on up, and as you see, there is a uh, glowing pot there. So, we now need to fall all the way back down. Because, to get here, we need to throw these spears. Come on. Come on. There we go. So that we can get to this ladder. And, we get ourselves another moonstone. Now, I don't believe there's any reason to head on up from here. So yeah, there's nothing else for us up there at this time. Though, we may be back here in a bonus episode to show what is actually up there. And those who know and have been watching from the beginning already know what I'm alluding to. Instead, though, let's head over here and... We now have it, whereas we can turn on or off the lights. With the lights off, we get to actually see hidden pathways. But with them on, we get to see normal pathways. So that's the gimmick of this. You turn the lights on and off to try to find what the path is to get through. The path does not change, so if you know what it is, you can just go through and get there immediately. There's also, I believe, a... Yes, there is. Where is the way to get to that? There's how I get to that pot. We want that pot before we do anything else. Go ahead over here. Throw this over here. And get ourselves our next bunny figurine. I believe that's four, so we have three more to go. Now, all the way over here... Never mind, it's down here. I could have turned off. Okay, well, clearly I don't remember what this is. Oh, it is right here, but you've got to press down, actually. That's a neat little tricky one. I enjoy it, basically, which is what I'm trying to get at. Then come here. It's another one where you just jump down, but flip this, and. You hear that rumbling? And you probably recognize that. That is a crystal similar to what we had in the giant windmills. So that is one of three crystals down. 
We also have an item shop here. Let's go ahead and look at the item shop. Let's realize that the item shop had me going, I, for some reason, mixed myself up. All right, a customer. It's been so long. The other robots advised me to close down the store, but I kept hope that a customer would come. So here you can buy yourself some Miranda or some Nutra food, which here the Nutra food is cheaper than from the vending machine. You can also buy yourselves another Astro lunch, which that one I'm definitely going to pick up. Also, Miranda picks you up when you're down. Miranda gives you the energy you need. Our well-balanced formula is athlete approved and all natural. Fascinating. We Stella Knights also have our own holographic idols to sing songs and advertise products. Uh, I guess this is where it started. Some have taken it further with holographic boyfriends and girlfriends. If not for our artificial incubation, I suspect our population would have declined quite severely. So, what are you waiting for? Try Miranda today. Satisfaction guaranteed. Yeah, we don't need any right now, but again, it is a honey brew like item, so be aware of that. Instead, I want to head over here. A new cohort of robots has entered the city. They are orange and appear to be of more advanced make. Have the old masters returned? Are the old robots to be our replacements? As the time come, will we are we to be retired? What is retirement like? My old master used to describe retirement as the start of a new journey. Strange, I feel peace and dread both. Well, we're going to head over here now, though. And, hey, what do you have to say? This looks like a residential house. One bed, one desk, one chair. Guy was definitely a loner. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> Nothing to report, sir. Hey, what do you have to say? Today, I tidied the house and awaited the master's return. Just the same as I've done for the past... Error. Do you find the place to your liking? I am glad. Also, up here, we get a pristine rose. Now then, I could go through that triangle, which has the, uh... It has the next crystal, but I want to show that this is entrance 72. So, we now have a teleport, whereas we can bypass the megalith fields. However, even though we fixed the teleporters uh, with Fran, these teleporters still are going to shock us. Now then, I'm going to head over to the left for two reasons. First, is someone that you probably aren't expecting. It's uh, Mr. Planto. Ah, uh, we meet again. Don't look surprised to see me here. This is where I originated. Don't tell me you thought my superior metal physique was any w was in any way similar to your fragile biology. <laughs> Silly human. Yep, Mr. Planto has been our golem this entire time. Hmm, the soil balance is off here. Fetch me five food units, please. Well, I have them on hand, so... Thank you. So, yes, this is my home. Been a couple of been a couple centuries since we robots have had visitors. Suddenly, there's a bunch of them. I suppose the right thing to say at this point is, Mikasa, es su casa? You've been a great source of help. This time, allow me to give you a more substantial reward. My scanner indicates this is an augment capable with your physiology. Yep, so for giving him all those food units along with the money he gives us, the final one is we get an energy gem. My creator gave me two missions. The first was to plant things, a wide variety of things. I planted just about every kind of plant there is, from small shrubs to towering suns. His second mission was for me to discover humanity. It said the first man was a gardener. Perhaps that's why he assigned me the role. After hundreds of years, I'm not sure I made any progress at all. But I've come to understand that I enjoy it. 
if what I feel is joy at all, <laughs> just enjoying the moment a little more, then I'm off. Yep, so after this, we will not see Mr. Planto again. But now, we are off to the Megalith Fields to get the bunny statues that are there. And I'm just going to be cutting to show how you get the remaining bunny statues there. On the first screen of the Megalith Fields, right where you see this guy, we need to go ahead and uh, deactivate him. So, let's place notes, get him deactivated, and... We're going to need to get on top of there. So, let's deal with these guys again. And now we can easily get over here because we can... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That didn't work. That didn't work. Uh, we can get over there, but we do have to be a little careful of... Uh, yeah. The one up there. But you can kind of see what we're going to be doing. It's just... Climb this, play notes, and don't do that. Don't do that. But as you probably saw up there, there is a pot, and it has our stamina bunny statue in it. Next, we need to head to the second uh, screen of the Megalith Fields. And if you remember, there is a glowing pot that I said we could not get yet. Well, that is our next bunny statue. For this one, similar to what we did before, you're going to want to get up here, and then you can get to this point so that you can play notes to try to take them both out. They sometimes will have the same note, which helps things go a tiny bit faster. Well, once you have them both taken out, and I think we might... No, we... There is something I'm forgetting here. Something I am forgetting here. Ah, that's what I'm forgetting. You do that. Throw that spear. Hello? Maybe not throw that spear. No, it is throw that spear. It's just throw it after jumping a little bit. But jump a little bit, throw the spear, wait for it to tank. There we go. Get your stamina back. And just fly on over to it. And come up here. And we get ourselves our sixth bunny figure. Now, we need to head back to the pristine city and the top left area to get the last bunny figure. Back in pristine city, if you remember this triangle thing, that I, this triangle door I said we weren't going to go through? Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. We need to come through here because this is where the next one is. So this, we actually have four things that we can do. Up, down, left, right. Left, right deals with the uh, path or the door things. And up, down deals with these, whatever you want to call them, panels. But head them up here. We get that. And now we also get our last bunny figure. We have stopped the tyrant. Let's go talk to him now and see what we get for stopping the tyrant. All seven bunnies, I underestimated you. You are a true hero. No! The cuteness of the bunnies is weakening my evil superpowers. I am defeated. Here, take the key to the city. Now you are the mayor. Go on, don't be shy. And we get an energy gem for collecting all seven of the bunny statues. Did you have fun? Long ago, I was tasked with watching my master's daughter. I had designed all sorts of games to keep her occupied. She was fine, fun. She was fond of the bunny hunt game, and I was fond of her. Thank you for letting me relive those days. Yep. Now, there's one last thing we're going to do this episode, and that is heading back down the pristine station. Because if you remember, they said there were three uh, crystals we have to activate. Two above and one below. And over to the right where... Th oh, hey, I forgot about you. We've determined this rail car will take you to where the Phoenix is kept. Unfortunately, it appears to be deactivated. It's impressive how clean the place is. I forgot this isn't actually a golem. I bet it hasn't aged a day since, the last, since it was last inhabited by humans. 
Well, let's head on into here. And the last of the puzzles. Uh, according to our records on the ancients, the Spheralis can deactivate the Megaliths ahead. They say if you stand close enough, you can see what notes you need to play to turn them off. And give it a try. Yep, so this is basically the, if you didn't know yet, here's where the game teaches you about. Oh, jeez. Where the game teaches you that you can deactivate these. However, uh, you want to be careful, though, again, if you can get close enough, you can sometimes double, uh, double hit them. Bravo. I knew you could do it. Seeing the Spheralist in action is pretty interesting. It reminds me of a musical instrument. I've always wanted to play an instrument. Unfortunately, my parents made me practice baseball instead. I'll never forgive them for that. Well, hit this with our touch strike by mistake. But that activates the third crystal. And now, this is open. Great, great work, Gale. The rail car is activated and ready to go. It'll take you to our fated destination, to the Phoenix. Unfortunately, due to a strong jammer below, our sensors can't peer through to see what's next. Once we're down there, I'll be completely deactivated. You'll be on your own. But if you can find the jammer and turn it off, I'll be able to assist you again. Gail, I believe in you. Good luck! And next time... We will take this cart down to, as we were told, Eden. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and take care.